under the Zero Tolerance Violence Free Communities, which is a very important program in our ministry. Uh, important because of um, our efforts uh, as a nation to eradicate violence against women. As you know, with a high incidence of uh, violence against women in Fiji, it's um, a program of uh, the ministry that's uh, very important to us. And apart from that, there's also the uh, aim to empower women living in rural areas to be able to um, come up with the livelihoods that would sustain themselves, their families, and of course the communities that they live in. And the third uh, and important part of that visit was to um, empower needy children, those children who have started the school year with some uh, uh, lacking in certain school supplies. So that was uh, another very important aim of that visit. The fourth and final one was to launch uh, the ministry boat that would serve the Lomaviviti group as you know, with the government's uh, aim in decentralizing uh, government services and taking it uh, to rural communities is the main aim of that particular boat, given the geographical layout of the Lomai Viti group uh, that was very important in realizing that aim. Eh? When you give uh, distributed books and now, uh, as we know, there are a lot of agencies and institutions that provide assistance to needy children. And um, we picked that particular time, which is two, three weeks after school started, because we felt that's when you actually identify uh, kids that are coming to school but are not having the proper school supplies. So that's why we picked that particular time. As for the supplies, most of it came from overseas, from Australia in particular. And I'd like to thank our High Commissioner in Australia for facilitating um, uh, the supplies that came in a container uh, early this year to, to distribute uh, around uh, Fiji for needy children. Now I understand that uh you guys work with the ministry in identifying these kids, is it? Yes. Really yes, what we did, uh, we uh, uh, through our officer uh, in Levuka, we contacted the different schools around the, uh, around Levuka and asked the teachers to identify for us which children needed that assistance. So the children that we gave the assistance to were identified by the teachers themselves. 